Sides at third base. Cole to at second. Ricky Hart over at first. 2 1 delivery. Swung on, lifted in the air to center field. So, you want to know the crazy part about this? Still plenty of time for you to come down to take in the championship game of the 1993 Sturgis Little League All Star Invitational Tournament. We knew this team was coming. We knew there were a group of kids that were going to be seniors in 99 and juniors that same year that were coming. And I remember talking to Bill Whiteley leading into the season in 99 and just kind of asking him, Bill, how, how's the team? He goes, well, I think we could be special this year. He swings and drives one deep to right field, and that is gone. Off the roof out there in right center, a grand slam. When it got to sports, if they got a chance to get you down, they'd do it. They'd punch you in the mouth, and they'd, they'd take all your money, and they'd, they'd go back and do it again. It seemed easy. They knew they were good. They were never cocky. Yes, we had some great athletes, but it was the grunt guys. It was the guys that showed up in the summer, the guys that did all the preseason training, and they gave everything that they had within their human body. They were just tougher than nails. They are mentally tough physically tough, focused. I mean, I've had some really good baseball teams, but none of them come close to comparing to that team. I would put that team up with about any team that's won the state title. How superstitious were you guys? From the outside, extremely superstitious. I'm not superstitious, but I'll tell you, the 1999 team was very superstitious. Extremely superstitious. Nate Long, the sophomore, the only thing that separates Pinconi right now from baseball glory in Division II. And then we get this sophomore kid, yeah. uh, Nate Lung. I wanted to hit the ball. Always had. I don't know if anybody else, bottom of the seventh inning, down by one, would have wanted a sophomore up to bat in that kind of situation. But Bill never hesitated, never faltered, sent him right out there. It's almost like I tell the story like we want. It's almost like I try to reason in my head of how to get to a different point, and I never get to that, that other point. I, ne I never get there. You know, the tension, I think everybody felt it. I guarantee I was on edge. You don't get many chances. Nobody remembers if you come in second, believe me. Ironically, every time I go over to Chicago and I go by that sign that says Sturgis, turn left, man, I'd like to burn that town down. <laughs>